efforts for a dinner party or just a weeknight meal, we all try to find ways to put a little extra flavor in our food to keep it exciting and fun. I know I do. So today we are going to make your cocktails, mocktails, nightcaps, etc. Just a little more memorable. Jackie Denker's raising the bar on your bar and upping our garnish game. Move over salt and lime because the real garnishes are here. You can either have like an herbaceous note hitting you in the face, you know, smelling it. You can have a texture play with some sort of fun rim, whether it's like a sesame seed, a salt, a tahini, or you can just have something like an edible flower that looks beautiful. To up your garnish game, we mixed up some cocktails with Thomas Burris, corporate mixologist of Tequila Corrito. Starting with the Tequila Mockingbird. And it's going to have the ultra premium Tequila Corrido, which is a certified additive free tequila. We're going to have fresh lemon juice, grapefruit juice, and then a lemon simple syrup that's been infused with rosemary. But the real star of the show, the garnish. So we have a little uh, fun sore that is going to be holding together the herb rosemary, and it's going to be wrapped in a grapefruit peel. To that explosion of flavor, add beauty with edible marigolds. And then how do you place a garnish properly? For garnishes, you really kind of want want the herbs to be sticking up. So you'll use that there, right? It's like a pineapple of yes. sorts. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's like floral and herbaceous and so many good things. Next up, an upgrade to an old fashioned, Old Smoky. We have a maple and an orange bitters and then a Demerara sugar cube, Angel's Envy rye, whistle pig maple syrup. We're gonna express a lemon over the top, so it's gonna give it a little more of a citrus component, although it's not gonna be in the actual cocktail. Expressing means squeezing the oils from the peel. And for our garnish? We are playing with fire on this <laughs> next one. Fire! This is all about smoking your glass. You want to make sure that the flame stays lit, and then you're just going to be really torching this wood. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to kind of caramelize the top and create a smoke, oh. and then we're going to rest our glass over there. But don't let the smoke sit for too long, or it'll get stale. So after a while, you will let it just go. Wow, it's like a magic trick. Totally. And then we have a fun orange shaped like a mustache to kind of bring the cocktail a little more gentlemanly. For an extra hint of flavor and aroma, light up a cinnamon stick. Wow, there's so many things happening. And lastly, the basil smash. With fresh basil, lemon, grapefruit, and vodka, this is the perfect cocktail to wake your senses before dinner. The garnish, edible flowers. So we have kind of variations of what you can do for this garnish. I like to use fresh basil. You could always use an edible orchid or, you know, a tangelo here. The orchid gives it that pop of color. And then you have your Game of Thrones chalice, which is just fun and kind of gives the character to the drink. Wow, that is a pick-me-up. That is, absolutely. That's like dangerous. We're making your drinks look good by upping your garnish game.